Hey guys, answering people. Let me know when you guys are here, just comment down. I'm just answering denture questions while I wait for people. <laughs> mm. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, you guys want to understand, I'm constantly talking to people 24 seven. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to wait for all you guys to pop on whenever you get the notification. Yo, I think I got my pills stuck inside my throat. I can feel the pain in my chest. Damn esophagus. That girl's a tool. <laughs> hate my esophagus. Okay, remember guys, comment down. Oh, wait. I know YouTube is slow. Hey guys, don't forget to comment down below when you're here. I'm going to wait for everybody. Hey guys, Sarah, Helen, Marcy. How's it going, ladies? Merry freaking Christmas coming soon. Meh, I'm okay, Helen. I, I just swallowed up one of my antibiotics for SIBO. And it's huge, by the way. And I figured out it's stuck in my chest because I'm getting, like, pain here and, like, here. Hey, Joe. Hey, Terry. Hey, Andy. How's it going? No, it's not heartburn. Um, I have esophageal problems, so I'm normally on a shit ton of medication for esophagitis and Barrett's esophagus and all that. But, um, hey, Chris. But, um, and Sylvie. But, I don't know, I think I got my pill stuck in my thing. I was really quick to do it. Like, I just swigged and I normally am supposed to drink a lot. It's my own damn fault. Christmas is my favorite season, too. And you know what? If Like, I was telling my kids I got sad the other day just walking around town because it's always so Christmassy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I live in a small country for Christmas and the cold. Like, it's like a Hallmark freaking movie. But, I don't know. It sucks, guys. It's... There's no horse carriage rides like they do every year. And I wanted to vlog. There's like, none of, COVID ruined everything. Hey, Bobby. It is 7 p.m. here on the dot. Well, that clock is wrong, but it is 7 p.m. Well, 6, 6, 59 p.m. Hey, Kelly. I know you're having a tough time right now. Shit sucks when you first start out with dentures. It really does. But don't forget, when you first get your extraction, swelling doesn't really start to be bad until day three to day seven. That's like the shit show, and that's when you start praying to God. That shit stops. I'm not even kidding. I did that. A lot. <laughs> like a lot. Thank you. I had no idea what to do with my makeup. I'm going to be real. No friggin' idea. It's 2 a.m. Jeez. Actually, I can't even say anything. I'm normally up at 2 a.m. anyway. Yeah, I know, Kelly. It does suck. It does, especially when you're new to it and you don't know what to expect. Like, you don't know what's normal. Like, when I talked to Kelly about biofilm, um, you know, all the people out there that already have dentures, you know that disgusting freaking slimy, horrible tasting and smell shit you get in your mouth when you first get this done as biofilm. That's your body um, trying to kick out everything that's bad and try to heal over. Um, so, I mean, it's part of the process, but it sucks. It's disgusting. Hey, Rita and Crystal. No, you didn't miss the live. <laughs> Just started. Um, but yeah, biofilm is disgusting. But salt, you need it. it. It helps protect. It does help heal. Um, but salt, warm water four to five times a day. That's an absolute must. Listen, I had no idea what that shit was. And I did my own research when I first started. I was like, what is this? Like, nobody spoke about it in the denture world. Like, nobody. And I was like, ew. And then as I started speaking about it, everybody started to speak about it. So, which is good, because we need awareness of it. 
Oh, Danielle. It, it's actually, I mean, the first week and a half, well, week. The first week sucked for me because it does get better after a week. Um, Like every day just does get better and better. It's just the first week that sucks. Because you got to understand with any surgery, your body goes through that high inflammation stage because it's trauma to your face or your leg or wherever you get it done. So you're going to be in a shit ton of pain. Like when I had my, um, hey Gary, when I got my uh, lower back nerves electrocuted to get me to stop feeling pain in my lower back because it's consistent, um, I get that done every couple of years, which is due soon and I'm not looking forward to that at all. But um, that was... Probably, I had 36 surgeries now so far, 36 or seven, something like that. And that was probably the worst surgery I've ever recovered from, by far. That was painful. Yeah, Gary, some people have no problems at all, or some people have very little problems. I think what makes it worse is the damn denture that sits on it, because the denture stays the same, it doesn't expand, and then you got your gums squeezing the crap out of it, so when it's... Like, in your mouth, it's fine, but when you take them in and out, it's raw. It sucks. It does. Joe, I've had my dentures for 11 months now. It'll be... January 6th will be a year. Sorry, guys, we just read him. But, Kelly, it really does get better. And I know everything that you're going to go through in the next two weeks that you're going to be worried. It's normal. Unless you have dry socket, it's normal. Hey, Alita. But it just sucks. It does. But as far as your bottom denture goes, if one side fits down and the other side didn't, there's many ways that could be. It's either ill-fitting denture if they didn't do it right. But that could be an, you know, a thing. If it's too big, um, your denture, that's another thing. Or if the denture is just smaller than the gums, then that's because of the trauma you had. I mean, if you had more done, like say you had teeth cut out here, but you didn't have it out on here, you're going to have more swelling here than you did here. What do you mean, why did I have to get my dentures? When I lose teeth, I would want dentures. So I'm not really sure what you mean. Oh, you'll know, Sarah. It is the worst dental pain in history. They say it's actually like one of the worst pains ever to get. Um, dry socket, you'll know. One, you'll be able to see your bone down in the socket. Like if you open up your mouth and you look down and you can see your bone, your jawbone, like no blood clot, no nothing, dry socket. Some people don't get pain with dry socket, which is rare to not get pain with it, but you'll know because the pain is excruciating. Or if you have like white infection coming out of it. But that skin that when you guys first start to heal, you get like a white piece of thin skin um, going over it. That's fine. As long as your blood clot's there, but this white skin goes over it and it heals really good. Well, they couldn't save my teeth because I was in sepsis and I was going to die, Joe. That's how that worked. <laughs> I had an infection in my face due to a cell sepsis of a medication of an autoimmune suppressant I was on. So when it traveled down to my top teeth, they tried to save it and see which tooth it was hooking to the most. But by then, sepsis works pretty fast. So they couldn't. But they did save my eight front teeth because there was nothing wrong with them. So when you have sepsis and you're about to die from an autoimmune disease, you kind of have to get them removed. So my teeth were perfectly great before I was put on Celsep six months prior. I was put on cell septs. They checked my teeth, no cavities, no nothing, no root canals. Six months later after being on cell septs, I ended up with a massive, it actually started in my cheekbones and sinuses and all that. And it went super fast. Like it was, I didn't even feel it. Like it just everywhere. So it was pretty crazy. What do you do if you have dry socket? Call your dentist because they have to put a special medicine inside of your gum. Um, like once every few days, and they'll probably put you on antibiotics if you have an infection. Some people have dry socket without an infection, though, so it really depends on how quick you spot it, which, again, you'll know. Ariana, you're not late, girl. I have only been here for, like, five minutes. I just talk too much. Six minutes. I've been here for six minutes. Hey, Louise. Sorry, guys, I'm slow.
Just reading. Oh, implants. Oh, you did that. Okay, so implants takes months to heal. You can't, people think when they get snap-on dentures, they can use it automatically. You can't. What it is, is they have implants and then you have to have a de immediate denture put over it. So the implants have to heal. Your bone has to adhere to it. Like it has to like really form around it, you know? Um, so it takes, I think it's, it depends on the person. Some people have to wait six months. Some people have to wait a year. I've seen people wait a year before they can use their snap-on dentures. Um, dry socket's the only serious thing. So that means no sucking of any kind, no straw. If you smoke, um, it's not smart to puff on it. Um, people vape, don't do that. Um, people do it anyway. I understand that. Um, I'm a smoker, so I'm aware, but I didn't suck on my cigarette. I just breathed in and let it come in. Um, do not eat any oats, seeds, or anything like that for like a month or so. Um, like no oatmeal, no nothing. I don't care if it's got oats in it and it's soft. Don't eat it. Um, rice, don't do that because it can get inside your sockets, especially if you do not have an immediate denture. The only thing you should watch out for for an infection. So as long as you stay on top of cleaning your, um, you know, your gums, especially do not brush your gums for probably about two weeks ish, because if you disturb that clot, you're going to regret it with dry socket. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't do oats for a month. Your sockets have to heal. If things get inside of them, if you don't have an immediate denture, then it's going to be a bad day for you. It's not easy because if you get food stuck in there, you can't get it out. And if you try to get it out and you move the clot, you're screwed. So. Yay, Monique. First relive. Woo. You're going to feel like such a world of a difference. You get used to not having a soft reline. And then when you get it, you're like, oh, where has this been all my life? <laughs> like you really do. Hi, Daniel. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to catch up to everybody. Oh, you're talking about. Oh, hold on. Where was that? I was just reading it. Yeah, Ariana, that's uh, bone shards. There's bone spurs and there's bone shards. Bone shards are the little pieces of tooth that come, your body pushes it out naturally on its own. Um, and it can happen anywhere. I mean, I'm at 11 months and I still get them. So, well, I normally get bone spurs now. Bone spurs are your jaw healing into your holes or your sockets. And you can get that sharp, pointy, or just painful spot of hell. But it does get better. The shards... Having an immediate denture in my eyes, I think, is better when it comes to shards because the denture will just, like, sort of help pushing it out. Or you can just take sterilized tweezers and slide them out. Ah, hold on, guys. Um, it is. Well, how long have you had your implants for? Um, cause she said, what's odd is that my immediate denture snap in. Is that normal? Um, your, your implants have to heal first before you can do that. So I don't know how long you've had your implants for, but when you immediately get implants, no, that's not supposed to happen. Sorry, you can ask away. As long as I can see your question, I will answer. Yeah, Louise, it does go by fast. It really does. I can't believe I'm almost at a year. So it really does go fast. And it does get better. It's just literally the first couple weeks suck. Every day after that gets so much better. It really does. Six weeks you had that before you had your snap indenture? Because... I don't know. I've seen people get teeth in that day. So I don't know. It depends on um, what kind of implants you got. There's all different things. Because I have family member, like my dad, when he got his years ago, he got his permanent implant teeth and it was that day. Um, so, but he didn't get snap on. It was just regular implanted teeth. Sorry, guys. I'm just going back to make sure I don't miss anybody.
When can you eat when you get your teeth out? Um, Helen, with or without immediates? With immediates, pfft. I mean, I would say you could start eating foods at like the second week, eating solid foods, like liquid to soft for the first week or two. But I was eating whatever the hell I wanted to at a month. The second I was able to use adhesive was the second I was able to eat whatever the hell I wanted to. <laughs> Louise, I'll tell him. He just disappeared again. Hey, Thomas. You saw what? What they said? Yeah. I didn't even see Thomas popped in, I'm guys. <laughs> I'm, I can't see. I have no peripheral vision. I told you guys before. I'm legally blind. I'm literally watching so the live on my Chromebook. You're watching the live? Yeah. That's creepy. It's my son's still. watching the live on his like, Chromebook. When I was here, I ran back, and then I saw my hand. Wait. Oh, Thomas can actually comment to you guys, too, probably. No, I have to sign in. Oh, you have to sign in? Oh, that's a bummer. Which I literally can't oh, sign in. But you want to say hi to them? You can talk to them. Hi. Louise said, keep an eye out. Okay. This surprise from down under. <laughs> Get it? Oh, yeah. You probably had special implants done. That's why. Damn, that's a lot of shit. As long as they let it heal for a little while, though. To put something on top of that shit, that's going to hurt. So many people I know, listen, I did that poll. I don't know if you guys saw that a couple months ago. And I did a video on it on here that the everybody, 99% of people who did my poll that got snap on dentures still had to use adhesive. You still need to do soft relines. You still need to do adhesive. Like it just helps you keep it in place. Um, but you still might need to use this stuff anyway. No, Thomas ran away. I think he's just stalking me in the room. What, Thomas? Look in the comments. You, you commented? No, I said look in the comments. I know, I'm looking in the comments. What it am says, I looking for? It, is it snack time, Thomas? I said, Whoa. Oh, is it snack time, Thomas? <laughs> I was just like, woo! <laughs> Everybody say hi, Thomas. Hi. They have to hi. see you. <clears throat> Don't knock over my coffee. That's a sin. Yes, it is. It's so cozy. It sounds like our hear is old, but it's really not. It's just really loud. It's not loud. It's slightly ticking. You know the electric fireplaces, guys? Like, I have a really, really tiny one because I don't control my heat. The downstairs neighbors do, and I'm freezing my ass off all the time. So I need to get a bigger electric heater. And I really it's do. Literally but this degrees. one's small, and I normally sit by it all the time. Aw, thanks, Lita. Yeah, he knows he's cute. Don't tell him. Oh, I already know. <laughs> Thomas, I already know. He's so full of himself. It's crazy. I shall go bring off my Chromebook. Oh, you're welcome for the Christmas cards. I told you guys. I think today was the deadline, but if you guys so happen to send me your information today, since today is the deadline, because I want to make sure everybody gets it. Um, but definitely email me your guys' address and information, and I'll send you one out tomorrow. But I don't know how slow they are sending Christmas cards. Thomas, I can't hear myself. It's going to interrupt my wave thingies. You can't bring it in here, buddy. Like what you said two seconds ago is just can't Oh, really, Luis? That's cool. Sorry, guys. I'm backtracking to make sure I don't forget any questions. Well, implants are actually best for us. It prevents bone loss altogether. So, I mean, if you can afford to get implants, then do it. But please, for the love of God, I've seen this happen too many times. No matter if you wear dentures or implants, do not eat nuts, guys. It even says that on every site. Every dentist will tell you that. Everybody will tell you that. It will break. It's too hard. It's too hard. It'll end up breaking it. Some people are like, oh, I can, I can still eat it. doesn't mean it ain't going to never break. So be careful because I don't want you to replacing implants and I don't want you to end up having to replace your teeth on your denture or get a new denture. Yeah, I agree, Louise. Absolutely. It definitely is as good for... It does heat up the whole room um, if I keep it on long enough.
<laughs> yeah, no nuts. No nuts, guys. Yeah, RJ, I agree, dude. It's so expensive for implants. And yes, everywhere you go, it's going to be a different price. Because if you live in a, like New York like I do, or say if you go to like Arkansas, it's going to be two separate prices because you're going to get cost of living prices. It's not actual prices. So um, that's why so many people go to freaking Mexico. I mean, I wouldn't, but I know a lot of people who do. What else will break your dentures? Pfft, a lot. I'm actually doing a video this week on that of good and bad, what to not eat with your dentures. Um, but stay away from... Terry, I, when it comes to seeds, I would do it as a rare treat. Um, because they still are hard, but kind of like... Don't mess with the shells. We'll go with that. Go with shellless. But also be careful of diverticulitis, because I've been there. Um, cashews and macadamians. Macadamians are softer than cashews and peanuts and, and all those, but it's still hard. And you definitely don't want to pay, if you, especially if you have implants, pay $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 uh, per tooth all over again. Um, especially replacing these teeth is not that easy. Yeah, the way I used to do, Kelly, is I just pop the pill in the back of my throat, take water, and swallow. Sometimes I had to swallow my mouth open, but I did it. Where there's a will, there's a way. But you can do it. Make sure you have ice on your mouth. I always tell people frozen green peas. Um, just frozen peas, frozen sections, like 60 cents at Walmart. Put it on your face because they're easily formed to your face, and it's better than an ice pack. It's not all that pressure that you're trying to get it to fit. No. Frozen peas fit nicely on your face. 20 minutes on, you could do like 15 minutes off and just keep doing that. It'll make a big difference. No, of course not. Medicaid will definitely never cause it, call, uh, cover implants. Medicaid will only technically, when it comes to dental, cover only your smile. So um, as far as implants, no, because they'll make you do dentures. And even doing dentures, it's like pulling an arm and a leg. Trust me. I know. Yeah, frozen veggies do work a lot better. Ooh, chicken and waffles. Rita, that sounds so good. <laughs> I want chicken and waffles. I'm a sweet and salty person. I really am. And by the way, guys, in your immediate stage, it's quite normal to be using adhesive. But the goal is to not ever need adhesive. That's why I use Denture Fit. Um, but... You need to use your muscles and your jaw. They need to be trained. That's what they need to be doing is doing the work for you. So, you know, once you go into your permanent dentures, make sure you're practicing without any adhesive because your muscles and your gums are supposed to be doing the job. You can still do your soft relines, of course. Even I use DentureFit. But make sure you try to steer away from adhesive because then your body's going to get used to it and your body's not going to be able to do the job it's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Insurance, even normal insurance doesn't really cover a whole lot. How do you not think teeth is medically necessary? <laughs> like I had a fight with them on my partial. I'm like, are you kidding me, bro? Do you want me to eat? No, you only care about my smile. That's great, boo. Thanks. Appreciate you. Um, I wouldn't eat ice because it's hard. Like, suck on it, but I wouldn't eat it. Like, you can definitely suck on ice and it'll help bring down the inflammation inside your mouth. Because I remember my dentist brought that up to me too. Um, but don't ever chew on ice. I mean, I used to have an addiction to chewing on ice, unless it's like shaved ice. But not like ice ice. I know a lot of people who are addicted to eating ice. <laughs> Danielle, you know how many frozen bags of peas I have? I use that for permanent ice packs. I remember in one of my videos I told you guys that one night I was making pasta fazool and I needed my peas. And I'm like, I don't care if that's been on my face. We're, we're eating it because I needed my frozen peas. But they were still in a bag. 
<laughs> I can eat any candy. I've eaten Gushers. For all the people on here, because this is, I'm me doing YouTube, you know, is new for me to do lives. But all my Dedger support group people on Facebook, they tell you I eat munchos, gushers, fruit roll-ups. Like, I eat all that crap. She can even eat mounds. Yeah, I eat mounds. I eat whatever. Anything that I you don't eat, can... cr like, hard, like, say, gobstoppers. I wouldn't do that even with my real teeth because I'd be afraid to break my real teeth. Um, like, that's like a jawbreaker. I wouldn't do any of that. But, yeah, I eat all that stuff. I'm trying to think. What do I have here? That Ooh, you know what? I just got those freaking... Um, you know those little chocolate thingies with the cherry inside and the clear liquid? I've been popping those like there's no tomorrow. I can eat raw vegetables, yes. Like I said, every you guys, you could do anything as long as your dentures secure in your face. It's it's just that simple. All you have to do, and you also need to know that you can put too much adhesive and it won't work and too little adhesive. So everything with adhesive is trial and error. It really is. Oh, these. They are godly in your mouth. They are godly. They're, I don't like the white liquid inside. It has to be the clear one. But guess who's been eating these? I want my mounds, though. Thomas, can you go in the drawer where I put, you know, the drawer in the island to pass me my mounds? Because now I want mounds. Is it because I have chips Louise, I'll eat anything. <laughs> But yeah, I can eat raw vegetables. I do if I want to. I Listen, I have gastroparesis, so I'm not supposed to be eating raw anything. Um, I have to steam my vegetables regardless because it's easier to process in the body. Have a good night. Enjoy your dinner. Ooh, Caramello. Don't say that, Louise. I love caramel. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. Sorry, guys, I'm reading up. Wow, RJ, that's crazy. One year for dentures. That's what I did for here on the bottom. Oh, well, I, my jaw was broken. But after it healed, I'm still fighting it because it's both people. My dentist's office, the new chick, couldn't fucking do what she was asked to. The Medicaid said, hey, we just need this one thing and whatever. And she just kept not doing her job. And until the other day, I, like, what was it, two weeks ago, I snapped on her. I was like, you need to do your jam job. Like, just do your job. It's not that hard. So, yeah, that next day she called me in to get that spin around x-ray thing done. And boom, I got approved instantly. Apparently, my bottom denture is going to cost 2100 2400 I don't know. It's a partial. How is that going to cost more than my upper top denture? That's a lot of money. Where's my mounds, woman? Nowhere to be found. It's in there. It's in the top drawer. I want my mounds. Wait, are they in the tray thing? Because I looked there. In the thing. In the drawer. I told you in the drawer where I have... Oh, there. That kid can't find anything, guys. I know you love him to death and all. But that kid... He needs to go find Waldo. There's only one more. But I think Stevie and there's been eating them. My mounds. My mounds. They're good. I love mounds. I love They're coconut. Good. I love coconut. Yeah, she is from Australia. That's weird. Well, if you felt like your top plate was coming through your nose, then that means that up here needs to be adjusted. Sometimes you guys don't feel when you need an adjustment until you bite down in that spot and then it goes, poof, you feel all the pain. If you feel like this is coming through your nose, you need to take some off. That's a major, major thing. Like mine's right here. I really should take some off, but I'm lazy right now. I don't know tomorrow. It ain't hurting me. It ain't bothering me any. Girl, I've been binge watching Hallmark forever. What was it, yesterday's live I did? Was I live yesterday or day before? I don't remember. It's one big day. Oh, wait, it was yesterday. Um, I had Hallmark on in the background. 
Ooh, on last night was, I think, Christmas Town. But before that, we owned Christmas in Rome, so we watched that. Ooh, Monique, how was it? I've never tried Veggie Ride before. Yeah, someone told me not to treat it like it's um, the hazelnut spread. They said it's not even close to a very, very thin amount. Yeah, well, when you grow up on something, but it's like me, things that I've grown up on other people don't like. That's actually a perfect time, Rita. It was in for 12 and a half hours. That's good. I mean, you can even take them out at eight. It really depends on when you go to bed. I mean, you don't have to take them out right at bed. You can like take them out two hours before. That's what I do. I let my gums breathe. <laughs> I love Monique. Very different. You're so polite, girl. I hope they get the story extraction soon. I always tell people it's better to get it done and over with. I mean, if you wait longer and longer, it builds your anxiety up more and more and more. And then you stroke yourself out. Go get the Ativan fairy. She's awesome. She knows her shit. Twenty years ago. When did Veggie Mike come out? I'm not Australian, so I don't know. Like, I know it's been around for forever. But now, I'm a researcher, guys. So when I hear things, I'm like, ooh, when did that start? How did that start? Who made it? Like, I'm that kind of person. What's up, Marlene? Oh, first, hi. But what's wrong? By the way, I love mounds. Oh, so while everybody's here, um, and I ask you guys this all the time, nobody likes to answer me. What videos do you guys want to see? Ooh, I just did a video because somebody recently asked, I mean, I've done this video often, um, but how I put adhesive on and especially how I put adhesive on with denture fit. Then that video will be up tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Dancing. Ooh, maybe it'll actually be healthy for me. We all know I can't freaking hold vitamins in for crap. Um, <laughs> you don't want me to talk about, um, Comfolites. And affordable dentures and Aspen. Not a fan. Comfolites, you can't use denture fit on. You can't use reline it on. You can only be done. Anything can only be done at wherever you're getting the Comfolites from. If you look on the back of reline a box and the denture fit box, they all say cannot be used on Comfolites. So please make sure whatever you guys use, whatever kind of denture you get, you make sure you can actually do other stuff to your denture on your own and not just have to pay a buttload of money to go to a dentist to get it done. Adhesive cleanup. What's the best way to get... I use a paper towel. If you use water, it melts with water, but it's going to take forever. And then if you try to grow a paper towel when it's wet, it's slimy and gross. When I take out my denture, my adhesive's dry. Um, if you have a good suction and no water gets in, that's what happens. But I just take a paper towel, pinch, grab, pinch, grab. I do that with, I show you guys on my videos. I pinch and grab and it just comes right out in almost like a half a sheet or a lot of it comes out at once. So it's actually pretty awesome. Ha ha ha, Angela. <laughs> I know there's people in the wings, so I know, I see you guys. I know you're there. You just don't comment. Hold on, guys. I got to catch up a reading.
I hope your husband's okay. I'm not really sure what's going on, though. But he's always in my prayers, girl. I hope everything... You almost missed it, Angela. See what happens? Oh, I want to know from you guys. Did everybody get the notification? I don't know if everybody does. You have to hit the bell with me if you guys want to see the notifications. Um, if you want to get a notification that my crazy butt's here. So, uh, make sure you click that bell on me. And, um, whatever else it asks you to do. I don't know. Um. Okay, you guys gotta understand that whether it's American, um, affordable dentures or Aspen Dental, they always have a top denture they want to sell. Whatever has the most money, whatever they're going to get out of people, whatever. And they focus on that. Um, so I've seen people even get the economy, like the, um, the classic one, the economy one, whatever. And they've lasted for freaking two decades. Like, make sure you check it is. And if it's made from anything different. Oh, why am I freezing? Oh, I wonder if somebody... Normally when people message my um, phone, or I actually use a different phone this time in case that happened again, but um, we're also getting a snowstorm. So if I get notifications on my phone, it'll glitch here. It's annoying as shit. I can't airplane my phone on airplane mode and go live at the same time, which sucks. That's okay if you're late. You're still here. I agree, Louise. Absolutely. I would definitely make sure he gets to the hospital because you don't want to take that risk. Listen, I hate hospitals. I don't like to go to them. I've almost died because I didn't want to go to them. But every time I go, they ignore me because I'm an autoimmune patient. Oh, go see your specialist. Well, boo, if I'm dying, I don't see my specialist for two weeks. How's it going to help me, bro? Let's be real. <clears throat> Damn, 161 is normal? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it could be. I know when my, I have my, one of my best friends, um, he has diabetes and his blood sugar when it was at like 200 something. I'm like, bro, really? You needed that Twix? Like, was that necessary? <laughs> That's what I say to him. We grew up together. I knew him since I was 14. RJ, a lot of people I know do that because the top suctions so well, especially if you have a um, deep uh, palate and a lot of space. It's not like small. Like mine's, I have a deep, deep palate um, and trough. You have most suction. But I know some people that just need powder and people just use paste on the bottom. Yeah. I mean, do what works for you, man. Have at it. It's your quality of life. Everything. If you can eat, that's goals. Goals. Shit, even if my denture is loose, I still eat whatever I want. I don't care. I know how to control the woman. She needs to be tamed sometimes. You have zero suction and you can get away with just powder? Do you have like a good soft reline? Like I said, guys, try denture fit, guys. It's freaking epic. I'm not sponsored. I get paid for nothing. <laughs> like nothing. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Jackie. That's why I told them, don't ask me about them. Affordable dentures in Aspen because... I'm not a fan. I've heard too many, too many bad stories. Like most people that talk to me about them, about 95% of people tell me how bad they screwed up their mouth or denture or both. RJ, I agree to that to an extent. Um, I think that's the problem with you. I think because you don't have a great deep palate and you know what I mean? Like it's not a deep trough or palate. I'm wondering if when you take out your denture, RJ, is it dry or is it, like, mushy? Jackie would piss me off, too. Yo, when you're hungry, 
It don't matter if these bitches are loose or not. I don't care. <laughs> like, I still eat anyway. <laughs> I know what my teeth is and what my food is. I won't chew on my uh, teeth, so we're good. Yeah, Dentrofit can come out. If you wear, um, if you wear your denture all day and then at nighttime you go to eat, it's silicone. So if you have a lot of pressure on it all day long, like constantly, it, it can loosen. But the whole thing is, is denture fit is not like I have a great suction with denture fit, but it's meant to help your jaw and your muscles and stuff to control it. So if you're constantly enabled by adhesive, that means your jaw muscles and, you know, everywhere else isn't learning to be trained to hold in your denture. So you need to absolutely when you get to your permanent stage, stick to a soft relied, and then it takes a couple of weeks, but then your muscles learn how to hold in your denture on their own, and then you won't have a problem. If it's not dry, then that means water's getting in. That's why you hate it so much. <laughs> water's getting in, then that means there's a gap somewhere. Okay, so the next time you use adhesive and it's up in your mouth, you know, you wait your hour or 45 minutes or half an hour, whatever it is to let it dry in your mouth, um... Put your tongue, like, on your back palate. As long as you don't drink and then go, and then drink like you're pushing it up, because that could be a problem. There's too many people that do that. Like, if they're drinking a bottle of water or whatever, they'll have so much in their mouth, it's it's like, and then the water gets up and in. Um, so that could be another reason why. But if you're eating and drinking and it's coming up, check your tongue in the back palate or suck on your denture. If you feel a hole like air coming in and out, that's where your hole is. That's where you need to focus on putting adhesive because that'll stop the water from coming in. So I think you're missing a spot. But like I tell people, get a paper towel and just pull it right out. It doesn't have to be dry. It could be wet. Just take paper towel and just pull it out. Sometimes with mine, it's dry. It's dry on my roof of my mouth, which is annoying, but it's too dry where it's like stuck on really good. <laughs> and it gets to be annoying, but... Today I only wore adhesive because I was doing the video and showing you guys how to do adhesive with DentureFit and how I put on my adhesive. Um, it's I do my barrier. I've showed you guys that. I take my Q-tip and I spread it out a thin layer through my entire denture. Because if you do glops, like say you put like a glop here and a glop here and a glop here and you press on it, it doesn't get through your whole denture. It just goes a little bit past where you put that glop. So it's easy for water to get in and out. And it's all different size, you know? So... That's your problem. See, I knew a problem was about that's why. And there's no implants, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, normally when you horseshoe, um, you should use implants. It's really not recommended to do it without implants because you took away the palate. And if you take away the palate of the uh, denture, there's your suction. So you're going to have water in and out. So if you're going to horseshoe, do implants. Good night, Rita. Hmm. Food gets, it, dep it really depends. Food can get stuck on my back palate, but not like, it doesn't go all the way in. It just goes right there. And I just take my tongue and move it. So. Yeah, I can't believe you took off your palate, man. That's rough. I've only known one guy in my entire life that horseshoed his own denture, no implants, and it worked great for him. Everyone else had the biggest problem doing it. I definitely do not recommend horseshoeing your denture without implants because you're taking away your suction. So it's the that keeps them in. It's not like the bottom where it just sits on top. The top has the suction for a reason, but if you remove it, it just comes down. There's nothing, it's not sitting on anything. It just falls. Um, do, I tell people this all the time, don't use a toothbrush, take off your adhesive. You're going to be there for 50 damn thousand years. Don't do that. Mm -mm. It's going to take you forever, girl. Use a damn paper towel <laughs> and just pinch and pull. If you use just water and swish, you're going to be there for forever. Because water does 
adhesive it melts in water. It does. That's why I don't like fully clean my denture when I first take it out. I put it in water, let it sit for two hours, and the adhesive melts off. So I don't have to scrub the crap out of to get the adhesive off my denture. But when it comes to your gums, you don't want to brush it off because you're going to be there forever. I mean, if you have a tiny bit, then yeah, sure. But if you have a lot, no boo. Yeah, you can absolutely use one of those cloths. Absolutely. Um, if you want that in your mouth, make sure it's super thin, though. It's a lot up in there, though. But then it's going to get stuck inside the cloth. I don't know. I don't know. I just use paper towel. It's easier and disposable. I swear I should have stock in freaking uh, Bounty. No, not Bounty. I use Brawny because it's thicker and nicer paper towel. Oh, that's why you got her moved because of the gagging. Yeah, it's still not a good... I would have sucked it up and dealt with the gagging. <laughs> because if I had to pick between gagging, because it does go away. Uh, when people gag, it's because they're not used to the back palate hitting the uh, towards the end of their tongue. Um, you just have to desensitize it. You just brush the back of your tongue twice a day. And within like a couple of weeks, three weeks maybe at max, the gagging reflex will decrease by like 50%, 60%. But I'd rather deal with the gagging than deal with... Um, the dead you're not staying. That's got to suck. Wow, really? I've only done dental work with Novocaine, except one time. Because the oral surgeon says he only does work um, if he puts people to sleep. But all my wisdom teeth, any teeth, any work I've ever had done, I've always just had Novocaine. Sorry, guys, reading up. Well, like I said, Arlene, before, is salt water. Um, it takes forever. It takes forever. Like, if you have a little bit of adhesive, yeah, sure, I do that with a little bit of adhesive. Um, I still, even to this day, every night, I salt warm water rinse my mouth. Um, but as far as if you have a lot of adhesive in your mouth, if you use water, you're going to be there forever. Forever. I did that when I first started for the first couple of months, and I swear to Jesus, it took me a half an hour to get adhesive out of my mouth.